the longevity of a song and the impact of a song is um, sort of like a a 50-50 in most cases. See, in most cases it's a 50-50 because if in fact you write a song and you give it to someone who is incapable of delivering it, then the song suffers. Um, if you write a song and you give it to someone who is capable of delivering it, then I'll use Marvin Gaye as an example. When I used to write for Marvin Gaye, okay? I would write a song. I would either collaborate with my guitarist or someone else sometimes to write a song for Marvin Gaye or whatever. I loved working with Marvin Gaye because Marvin was always late. When he came in the studio, he came in there running. The door was hitting him on the ankle, you know what I mean? However, he was my brother. He was a really good friend. We were very, very tight. And if I, I got to the point where if my session was going to start at 8, I would tell Marvin it's going to start at 6.30. So he would be there by 8.30, you know what I mean? However, I didn't mind that because when he came into the studio, he never heard the song before he got there. I would sit at the piano, show him the song, or else play the track and show him the song. And he would proceed to what I call Marvinize my song. He would sing it in a manner in which I'd never imagined singing it. You know, when I wrote it, I'm just singing, I'm just writing a song or something, you know. And I'm not imagining all the things that he's going to do vocally to my song. So he would come in there and Marvinize your song, which now you got a song and you got an interpreter who adds another kind of life to what you've written. So, you know, many times it's a 50-50 it's a, it's a thing. 34 minutes past the hour of 10 o'clock. Here are, I heard it through the grapevine and what's going on. You're listening to the Hubert Smith Radio Show on 90.3 The Rock, local music's best friend. You're listening to our special edition of our annual Marvin Gaye Tribute Show.